Hello guys, this is Lettles. Today I'm going to do review flashlights. Uh, this is not a Lettercraft tools, so uh, this is just for the flashlight guys out there or if you are into, into also flashlights, um, it's just a little heads up uh, which one you should buy. Uh, I'll put this link in the description and the comment box where you can purchase them. Uh, it's my Amazon link. And um, in the conclusion, I, I want to say these three are all good. Um, they are tested for a few years now. Uh, these two are, I've tested them for three years. I think this tested for one year now. They are all really, really good um, flashlights. Uh, they are not so high price. It's, um, some of them are like surefires. They, they cost hundreds and two hundred dollars uh, flashlights, um, which are, I'm sure they are high quality. I've never owned them though, but uh, it's too expensive for me to, to buy a flashlight. So these are like the entry level of high quality uh, LED flashlights which will give you a higher output than your normal uh, incandescent uh, small bulb flashlights. So if you are in the, into the woods or if you're trying to find something with your, with your, um, inside your car or under the hood or something, you need definitely a flashlight. Um, I'm sure you, a lot of folks say, oh, I can just use flashlights in my, in my cell phone. Yeah, you could, but then sometimes um, you are looking for your handy in a very dark space, so you don't have flashlight in your hands because you are looking for hand, uh, the cell phone. So you need to find it with your flashlights. Yeah. So having an extra flashlight doesn't hurt you at all. So uh, just in case of anything emergency, just just to grab and go, you need some type of um, this type of flashlight so that uh, you can you can see through something like this. So in any situation, you need flashlights. Yeah. This this thing is not a useless item. And especially when you're riding a bike, which in this case, the Fenix E12 that I bought for, uh, this, this flashlights are um, very handy when you're trying to attach to your bike. I have a small bike. Um, I don't ride it anymore, but I used to. And uh, in Germany, in Europe, I think, uh, in the winter, the, the, um, the, the, it gets really dark really early. I'm sure in the northern Europe, um, like Finland, Sweden, Denmark, it gets even darker earlier. So you need to have something uh, onto your bike, okay? So you, there is an attachment, you can put this uh, flashlight too, or you can just wrap it around with a rubber band. And this flashlight really gives you um, high power and also uh, quite a long time as well. Uh, this 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 flashlight is powered by double A batteries. I will show you, just, there's an O-ring, double sealed. It's a waterproof as well. So, I use these rechargeable Sony um, batteries. I'll talk about the batteries um, after after later. Uh, I did. I was once so fascinated with the battery technologies. I do know some of the battery technologies, and uh, this is just okay battery brand. It's um, it's a Cycle Energy Sony rechargeable. Yeah. So I just use any battery for a while now. So just gives you this tight watertight seal which is um, waterproof to IPX8 and so this this thing can withstand water under 2 meters for 30 minutes so which is very nice so it has a single LED yeah it has a single LED and there's a rubber rubber seal at the back so this is to give you pleasant feeling while you um, trying to on and off your things and it gives you water seal tight around the back so uh, I I wasn't really I am not so fan of um, these rubber buttons uh, actually, but um, for this one I think it's okay. The other two they don't have button. This one doesn't have button. This one has a metallic button, which I mo much more prefer. But a lot of flashlights have this type of rubberized button. Yeah, so uh, you have to take it. Uh, but still, I I wish one thing I I thought um, much be proven was maybe change it to metallic button. This this is doesn't mean it's because of cheaper um, uh, LED lights. Uh, Surefire also has the rubberized button, so this doesn't mean the, any, any quality issue, just the design. But uh, anyways, so I'll just show you how, how bright it is. Just one click will turn the light on. This is low mode. Yeah. This will last 40 hours, okay? With this single AA battery, with this light, it will turn on for 40 hours. Okay. Now, I will just click half click. Yeah. Not full click. If I just full, full click, will turn off. So, turn on and half click. This will give me mid. Yeah. This is mid light. This is 
50 lumens. Yeah, this is this will last six hours and 30 minutes. Crazy, right? And if I go for one more mode, half click again. Yeah, this is high mode. So this is one thirty lumens, and this will last one hour thirty minutes. This is incredibly bright. I would I can definitely use it for my bike for such a long time. So this was my chosen um, choice for um, my bike light. Okay, so it was was really useful when I uh, ride a bike because of higher capacity of the battery that I used uh, the AA batteries uh, it lasted for a very long time now let's move on to Turnite TI4 pen light this, this uh, light is most expensive among these three so the, the order will be similar this, these two lights are similar but this one is a little bit more expensive but it's because they, it takes uh, different technology and also it takes two batteries as well so if I show you this one takes two AA batteries this is one of the best batteries in the world this is Fujitsu Row self discharge rechargeable battery this is high performance rechargeable battery doesn't doesn't self uh, self discharge so this is AAA battery so it takes two AAA batteries and these are all metallic construction. They are all uh, made with um, aircraft aluminum. So it's quite quite nice build quality and the finishing is amazing. If you, if you just see it, it does uh, tell you it's a quality item. And like I said, this is plastic, I mean metallic button as well. So there's no rubberized feelings. Let's turn it on. Turn it off like this. So it has a clip. So if you're a doctor, you're an engineer, whatever, if you go to work, you can just clip in uh, to your shirt, or you can you can have it inside your cup or um, anywhere. So you can it does look like some professional instrument that you you can use it for your work at other job sites or in office anything like that. You can still use it. I did I was trained as a material tester, uh, and there are something called visual testing, and you need a certain uh, luminances of light to measure inspect material. And these LED lights can be handy. Of course, it can it shouldn't be a too bright. You have to adjust the bright, and this can be uh, really handy. So this has four modes. So this one has start with the firefly mode. So it will just has a barely, barely small light. This is firefly mode. This is 0.4 lumens, and this will turn on for 137 hours. Yeah, so 137 hours. That's almost like six days. Yeah, six days, really. So, uh, no, not, not six days. Uh, four days, four or five days. Yeah, so it will turn on like this for four or five days. If you are also in military, uh, which I was also in military, but I didn't have this flashlight back then. But if I was go back to, uh, if I go back to military again, I would, I would definitely carry these lights. It, this can be useful. Uh, for looking at the maps and also trying to find something when I don't want to wake up everybody and I don't want to uh, be seen by enemies it's just so handy right so in in South Korean military army the LED flashlights are banned I think uh, I, I have to look at the regulation again but LED lights uh, what's not good about LED lights in military operation in, in uh, at least South Korea is that it's too bright your enemies can see you uh, from far away so in dark times if you're trying to find a way with a flashlight with the LED really bright LED flashlights like like this one let's say you, you try to like if you're searching for a way out like this the enemies from far away look at that lights and shoot you down with a, with the a AK or something really so <laughs> in military you get trained the too high tech isn't isn't so welcomed in the military you need to go with a very very low light um, like manganese battery powered uh, flashlights so that it really glows very gently and mild so that it doesn't uh, very it, it cannot be seen from far away so the enemies cannot cannot find you so in dark times it's really easy to find you because you have a really bright flashlight uh, in your hand so that's enemies will aim you and shoot you so again let's go back to this flashlight stories okay so this is firefly mode and low mode 
this is 32 lumens and this will be bright like this for 12 hours amazing right 12 hours and this is high mode this is 300 lumens this is 51 minutes yeah so this will it is this brightness will last about one hour yeah so the maximum lumen that's reaching is this one is much higher than this one but this will last shorter yeah that makes sense so last but not least this is true night ti3 stainless steel version it doesn't seem to be this this stainless steel version doesn't seem to be uh produced anymore uh, only uh, aluminum versions are there but of course it will be lighter than stainless steel version so which is a better option for you and this doesn't have any any push buttons this this is just a piece of solid material so how this let me first show you the batteries yeah this is a really Fuji 2 batteries yeah the same battery that I used in the other one so as this tightens up if I tighten completely it starts to turn on so if I turn it on to to turn it off I just need to unscrew it like this so maybe unscrew enough so that it doesn't fall out yeah so like this so how I change mode is I turn it on turn it off turn it on again it's a little bit brighter and turn it off and turn it on again now it's brighter even brighter so you you turn on mode by changing and turning keep turn on and off so you need to go tick 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 tick, tick like this okay so very startable very start oh this is the last mode they will just demonstrate you yeah okay so let's start with the firefly mode this is 0 0.04 lumens so it this is even milder than this one firefly mode okay can you see it like it's so soft yeah this will last 115 hours yeah which again is very useful in such a condition that you don't want to be seen by others or you want to just look at giant gently you want to take a look at it because if you you really if you're using too much bright in a single spot if, if you're looking at something for example see can you read it it's too bright right for your eyes also if it's too bright you cannot really see it well so you need a gentle light to take a look at it what it is so this firefly mode lasts for 115 hours now we go for low mode yeah this is 12 lumens 12 lumens 6.3 hours 6.3 hours which is quite nice for little little flashlight right and then the high mode the maximum this is 120 lumens and this will last 30 minutes yeah so as the brighter as it gets it lasts much shorter yeah these two LED flashlights have a lifetime of 20 years so 20 years of using the flashlights it will just it, it means it will last you for your lifetime I think yeah and this one this one lasts 50,000 hours that's about 5.5 hours so it has a different um, characteristic I will just I made a complete list of um, what's what and what's what <laughs> if you guys want to compare so this is Phoenix E12 this is True Night TI4 and this is True Night yeah so um, this one uses double A this one uses double A but these two uses A8 triple A batteries but this is use this one uses two triple A's yeah they are all you they're all using Cree LED lights but different um, LED modules and it has a different lifespan. This one is fifty thousand hours, but this one has a twenty years, twenty year plus years of um, runtime run for the LED. They are all same waterproof to IPX8 um, waterproof rating. So they are underwater two two meters for thirty minutes um, um, durable. So they are all same waterproof level. So if you see the high modes, if you see high modes, under thirty lumens. One hour and thirty minutes, 
and this one is 300 lumens 51 minutes and this one 120 lumens and 30 minutes yeah so it has uh, some downsides and and um, good size as well and they do have a strobe different strobe uh, modes which will give you kind of a signaling effect you have to go to the secret mode now it goes like this so uh, if you go to the full cycle of Firefly low high, Firefly low high, and then next it go, goes to strobe mode. So it's a hidden mode. So this one is also has the same. So it turns, it gives you a signaling effect. So uh, if you have epilepsy, it's not good to to see this kind of uh, strobe lights. But um, certain times you need strobe modes. But this one doesn't have any strobe modes. It's just lights of low, mid, high. Yeah. I'm sure you can read through all of these if you just pause the video. So I'll not just go speak, speak, speak I, all, into all details. You can just compare these, and uh, you can you can purchase whichever you like. Okay, I'll put the link uh, link in the uh, the the models in the comment box where you can just click on and you can buy through that. Yeah. So if you are looking for flashlights, selecting any will will not hurt. You know, it's it's all really nice flashlights. This one is cheap, but it's really nice as well. If you're certain position, you want to look clean and nice. This will not also. This will also look very good. Ti Ti um, True Night Ti Four Series. For this one, really nice for pot carry. So yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I'll see you guys next video. Bye bye.